Hi guys. So by the time you see this, I will be on vacation. But before I go, I need to put away all of my new puzzles. So I thought I would take you guys along and show you all of the new puzzles I have gotten lately. And there are a lot of them. And a lot of these might look familiar as the puzzles that I talked about in my video about all of the rare puzzles I was trying to get my hands on. So I have these two piles of puzzles. I also have all of these boxes that I've been wanting to unbox on camera. And once I move everything over into the studio, I have a couple more puzzles that are already in there that I also wanted to show you. So first up, I worked with a viewer named Helena from Germany to get all of the original crypt puzzles from the 90s, which it turns out are not actually that rare, but they never released this version here in the US, um, only over in Europe, so it was a little hard to get them over here. And funnily enough, Helena was actually the person whose photos I used in the rare puzzles video, and then she emailed me and was like, hey, you used my photos. Um, do you want me to just help you get these puzzles? And I was like, yes, you are the person that I will work with. <laughs> I got so many offers from, I swear, every single puzzler in Germany wanted to help me get these puzzles. Um, so thank you to everyone, but I have them now. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, the Crypt puzzles from Ravensburger are these solid colored puzzles with their own custom cuts. But uh, back in the 90s, they released this earlier version just in Germany before they released the newer design worldwide. And I just think the cover is so funny and like so interesting. Also, these cuts are I believe exactly the same as what they ended up going with for the um, the worldwide releases. They're just in different colors. Also, it's a little confusing that there is just Crypt and then also Crypt 1, Crypt 2, and Crypt 3. So I worked with Helena. I managed to get all four of them. These two are still shrink wrapped, but I wanna actually take a look at the color of the pieces. So I'm just gonna open them up really quick. Okay, so it looks like the first two are both silver. They have the exact same finish between the two. Um, and then this one is this beautiful, like deep blue color. You can see they're all kind of shiny as well. And then this one is this nice kind of deep pink color, super pretty. And just like the modern Crypt puzzles, they give you the puzzle cut, which uh, is basically the solution in a sealed envelope. So I'm really happy to have these for my solid colored puzzle collection. And hopefully um, maybe next year I can do a video all about the Crypt puzzles and show every single version and break down every single nerdy detail. So in the same box, um, Helena also sent me this one, which is the green puzzle from the solid colored German transit series that Ravensburger uh, released over in Germany. This one is not technically a solid color. Um, you can see it, it's this very subtle like brick design. And these were super limited edition. I forget exactly how many they made, like 500 or a thousand, but not that many. So I have this one, but I may also have more from this series uh, over in these boxes. So stay tuned. Continuing on with all of the vintage puzzles. This one I almost talked about in that rare puzzle series. And then I decided that I didn't want people to know about it. And so if one showed up on eBay, I didn't want the price to jump up. So as you can see, there's not a lot of information on it. It's called the iBuster and it is only a 200 piece puzzle, but look at how cool these pieces are. It's like a pop art design almost. It's really cool. I don't know a ton about this puzzle or where it came from, but the reason why I wanted it is because there's actually a second one 
called the Red Menace. And if you remember, I already have two solid red puzzles called the Red Menace. And so when I was Googling them, I found the one from this series also called the Red Menace. And there was a listing where it was sold alongside the iBuster. So when this one showed up on eBay recently, I, it was on my wish list. I got an eBay alert. I was like, I have to have this. But I'm still looking for the one from that series called The Red Menace. So if anyone has it, uh, feel free to reach out. Next up, we've got this Springbok puzzle, which is another one of their mystery puzzles. Um, I got this from a viewer who just reached out and said that they had one and wanted to send it to me. It was already on my wish list, so I was like, go ahead. I think Springbok made five of these, and I guess I would have, I think I have three of them now. So the picture on the puzzle is not um, what's on the front of the box. This helps you solve the mystery, and you can see there's actually an entire mystery book this time with lots of pictures and everything. So there's a lot of information in here. The next one that I got is from uh, Gamifiles, which is, uh, there it is, Gamifiles, the company that I am really interested in from New Jersey. They released a lot of interesting products. So someday I'll do a whole deep dive into them. But uh, I loved this vintage New York City subway map puzzle. Like, just look at how cool that design is. And it's still sealed, so when this popped up on eBay, I had to get it. Also, my sister is obsessed, like, lives in New York and is obsessed with the Transit Museum and loves anything to do with subway maps. So I was like, next time you come visit me, <laughs> I've got a puzzle for you. Next, we've got some modern puzzles. Uh, these are two new ones from Sue Niss. She's been running these events where she'll do basically like a pre-order period for puzzles from independent artists like this. And then if they get enough pre-orders, they'll get produced. So this is one from that last event. And then this is the other one. I love this artwork. That's going to be really fun to do as a puzzle. So if you want to get notified of the next time she's running one of those pre-order events, uh, you can just follow her on Instagram. And then we've got a big boy. This is an 8,000 piece puzzle of the Sistine Chapel from Educa. And... I got it from a viewer and he was like, this was really hard, so I'm a little intimidated. I actually got this one in the parking lot of a grocery store. We met up to uh, give me a giant puzzle, <laughs> which normally I would not do, but I had a male friend with me and he had sent me like all of his information so I knew who this person was. And sure enough, he popped his trunk and there was the 8,000 piece puzzle, which he said, what did he say? He had like gotten it with his wife like 20 years ago when they first married and only recently completed it or something like that. Uh, and then he wasn't going to do it again. So he reached out and asked if I wanted it. And I was like, I will absolutely take this 8,000 piece puzzle off of your hands. On the inside, all of the pieces are wrapped up with um, Christmas wrapping. So I haven't actually confirmed that it is a jigsaw puzzle in here. Um, maybe I should open it up like just to be sure. Oh, is that it? Okay, yeah, that's, that's a jigsaw puzzle. All right, I think we're good. All right, it is basically puzzle Christmas morning. So let's start opening these up and see what we've got. This one also came all the way from Germany and I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. Oh my God, it is, lit hang on, let me move my phone. This is literally a box with another box with another box inside like they're puzzles they're not that um fragile it's fine <laughs> oh my god oh my god i finally got them out that was an actual workout okay are you guys ready are you guys ready so remember how i got 
this puzzle from Helena. Well, she had already mailed out her box, which included this puzzle. Uh, by the time I heard from another viewer named Marius, who offered to send me the entire Tran solid colored transit collection that's still sealed brand new so uh yes that does mean i ended up with two of these <laughs> um marius did want me to pay him for these so i did have to pay but uh it wasn't a crazy extravagant amount and these are honestly so rare especially in this country where they were not ever released that I was like, I'm just gonna do it. This is like my only opportunity to get this entire set brand new at a reasonably decent price. People must think I'm so crazy for spending as much as I did on another solid colored, like solid black puzzle and another solid yellow puzzle. Although this one will now match my flat banana puzzle from Springbok that I did earlier this year. So I need to decide what I'm gonna do with uh, the extra copy of this one. I could potentially sell it, um, I could keep it, and then I'll have an extra one that I can keep shrink wrapped. Uh, I just have not decided yet. All right, moving on. Um, this is a package from a company called Good Fit, which is a modern puzzle company, but they, don't think they've actually posted online yet when I'm filming this what their new puzzles look like. So I really don't know what is in here. Ooh, oh, it's a little box. Look at how little. Um, this is only 208 pieces and there is the design. Uh, super fun and bright for a puzzle. And then, ooh, this one's nice too. Okay, this one's called Taco Truck. So there's the illustration. Um, yeah, really excited to do both of these. Thanks, Good Fit. And then next up, uh, I taped over who this one is from. So I actually don't remember who this is from. Let me just take a little peek. Uh, that's my address. Is there, is there a return address? Maybe there's no return address. All right, we're just gonna open it up and we're all gonna find out together. <laughs> oh, okay, I remember who this is from now. <laughs> These are the new ones from Minty Fizz Puzzles. So um, her name is uh, Kelly. She runs a company called Minty Fizz Puzzles. It's a super small business. She just puts her own artwork on puzzles and I've really enjoyed everything that she has uh, sent me so far. So here is the new one. And then we've also got this new uh, 500 piece one, which is these kind of paint swirls, super colorful. And this is a thousand piece puzzle. All of these berries in almost uh, like a stained glass type of style. Really, really pretty. Okay, this next one. I should not, I like should not have access to my own finances. I spend just so much money on puzzles that I don't need, but this puzzle is going to solve a mystery for me. So I'm going to show you what it is and you're all going to see why this is something that I do not need. Remember this guy? I already solved this puzzle in a video. This is the uh, 3000 piece Escher puzzle, which is only about eight, eight inches tall, but 13 feet long. But here's, here's the thing. Here's why I wanted to get a second copy of it. So in the one that I did, which I think is the more common version that was sold, uh, the front cover has these four rectangles showing the entire picture of the puzzle. And when you solve it, each of those sections has an edge on the short side. So you're really making four smaller like rectangle puzzles. And I have a theory. Um, nobody has really posted high quality pictures of these puzzles online. But from what I can tell from archived eBay listings, 
when they released it with this cover, it actually is one really long strip of a puzzle. I don't think it has those edges on the short sides. So I think I'm gonna put this one together um, in a series of YouTube shorts and you will come along with me and we will discover um, whether it actually is one really long strip. And then in this giant box, like, can you guys see how huge and heavy this box is? Um, again, I should not have access to eBay because I spent $450 on my next giant puzzle. <laughs> but it's one I've wanted for a really long time. And so when one of them showed up at, you know, a price that was under $500, which sometimes they can go for more than that. I just, I decided I just needed to jump on it. And this will be like one of my big projects that I do next year. Oh man, this is so exciting. It feels like the opening to the 24,000 piece puzzle again. Oh, I see it. Oh my, okay. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. And this is going to be the biggest puzzle that I've done yet in the sense that the 24,000 piece puzzle I did as four 6,000 piece sections and then I've done a 9,000 piece puzzle all mixed together. This one is bigger than 9,000 pieces, and I'm planning to mix it all together. Oh man, ah! it's so pretty. Take a look at that. 13,200 pieces. Look at how beautiful and colorful that is. And it is still shrink wrapped. So it's brand new, I can be sure that all of the pieces are there. And that's the other thing that I forgot. Uh, when I bought it on eBay, I actually messaged the seller and got him to knock the price off by $100. So even though it's a lot of money, um, I decided it was worth it. So maybe in like January or February, I'm gonna start tackling this puzzle. <laughs> Although, do you remember with the 9,000 piece puzzle, the Minions one, how I barely had space over on the dining room table? Um, I think if I do this puzzle, I'm literally going to have to rearrange my entire apartment to put the living room furniture over where the dining room table is and put the dining room table in this larger living room space just so I have enough room to have one giant surface to do a 13,000 piece puzzle. <laughs> What is my life? What has my life become? All right, our final box is the new one from Eboo that I've already started pulling some puzzles out of. Um, as I said in my last video, they are always so generous and send me so many puzzles. So I'm just gonna quickly run through and show you guys all of them. Oh, this one's kind of nice. Look at all those colors. This is a slightly different illustration style than what they normally do. Ooh, this is only a hundred piece puzzle. So I guess they're, I guess this is like a kid's puzzle. Oh, that one's so pretty. Although definitely not for you if you have a fear of butterflies and moths. I don't like moths, but I think this one's colorful enough that I'll get over it. <laughs> Look at that. That is just so typically Ibu, just so many bright colors. That's gonna be super fun. Another one that's like sort of a rainbow, but with a little twist on it. Um, again, if you don't like mushrooms, uh, don't do this puzzle. I don't like eating mushrooms, but I have no problem uh, looking at illustrations of mushrooms like this. And then finally, another 500 piece round puzzle, super pretty. Okay, well, I have a lot of puzzles that I need to bring into the studio and a lot of recycling to take out. So uh, hang tight. And then I have a few more puzzles actually to show you that are already over in the studio. What's this? One more box? Um, no, actually. 
You're gonna find out about that one very soon. Oh my God. <laughs> Where am I gonna put all of these? All right, so the new puzzles I have here in the studio, um, Cloudberries sent me these 100 piece puzzles that they're releasing um, for kids. The boxes are beautiful, but I just, I don't know if I need kids puzzles in here. Like I never do them. I don't know what I would use them for. So these, as well as, the 100 piece Ibu puzzle, I might just put right into the giveaway box and try to find some kids who would actually like them. Here's one that I got from a viewer that actually should be over in the vintage cabinet. Uh, this is a vintage Ravensburger puzzle from 1981. And you can see that it, where was it? It literally says made in Western Germany. That's not a thing anymore. So uh, this came from a viewer and I love how it's actually a cutout puzzle, which I don't think Ravensburger really does anymore, or at least not a lot of them. So if we open it up, this is even before they started using the blue cardboard on the backs of their pieces. And you can see how the edge pieces all have like curved edges because all of this white, that's not part of the puzzle. like. It literally ends here on the outline of this uh, Christmas guy, Santa Claus. <laughs> I also got this on Amazon. Um, it was only $20 and you guys know I love a puzzle with a gimmick. This is a color changing puzzle that supposedly changes by the like by your body heat and I'll change color so one of these days I'll test that out in a video and then I know I have at least two puzzles here in the vintage cabinet that I wanted to show you guys uh, here is the first one so this is a puzzle from Japan that was sent to me by a viewer um, if you open up the Google Translate app you can actually point it at other languages and it'll give you like a rough translation, a very rough translation. So I think how this works is that this sunflower design is the original puzzle, but all of the puzzle pieces I think are the exact same shape. And then you can supposedly use these puzzle pieces to make all of these different designs. And also you can send in your own photo and then they'll send you the like design and so you can make your own face out of these same puzzle pieces. So I hadn't actually opened it up before but it looks like you even get puzzle glue, a scraper, you get all of these instructions and then there's the first set of puzzle pieces. Um, I guess it comes pre-assembled. Um, I definitely think if I'm going to try this, I need to work with someone who actually can read Japanese. Uh, so hopefully sometime next year, I can dig into this one because it looks really interesting. And then this one may look familiar. Um, this is another puzzle from the Rare Puzzles video that I was looking for. This is the Silver Optic Jigsaw Puzzle and as you can see, this is the one with all of the, ah, <laughs> this is the one with all of the super shiny silver pieces. And when you have it under the right light, like these eBay photos, um, you can see the like circular design come across. So this one actually came from Jan, who uh, sent me a bunch of my other vintage puzzles. I did a whole video a while back going through her collection that she had sent me. And so when she saw that I was looking for this one, she was she emailed me and was like, oh, I have that one too, do you want it? <laughs> so now I have it. I still don't have the gold one though. Um, if anyone has that, still feel free to get in touch. And then this one may also look familiar if you've seen my Rare Puzzles video. This is the Eaton Puzzle Plus puzzle, which is pretty rare. Um, I really wanted it. I didn't really have a lot of hopes of getting it anytime soon. But uh, again, another viewer just reached out and said that he had one and asked if he like if asked if he could send it to me. I don't know why that sentence was so hard. 
Uh, but yeah, now we have it. Ah, I'm so excited to do this one. And then also from a viewer, um, I also got these vintage puzzles. So this is a contour puzzle. Um, it's pretty old. Again, made in West Germany. Look at that. This one's from 1968. It's pretty old. <laughs> Sorry if you were born in 1968. <laughs> but anyway, the, the thing about this one is that the pieces are made of foam and you can see that they're different thicknesses. So even though the picture itself isn't really that interesting, supposedly the thickness of the puzzle like corresponds to what's actually happening in the picture so i don't really know how well that's gonna work like the thickness differences don't look that dramatic but uh, i'll try it out one of these days and then i think this is the last one that i have to show you and it's not the most exciting not quite ending on a bang but a lot of people have asked me to do the talking jigsaw puzzle and so when I got this puzzle, um, he sent this one at the same time. Basically, you're making these little cartoon squares with little captions, and they can be rearranged into any order. And so you have to basically put them in order to make a story, I think, is... I think that's how it works. I've never done one of these before, but they... Um, they made a bunch of different ones. This one is the fitness center. I think there's also an office and other like other places like that. All right, there we go. So those are all of my new puzzles. Um, now I have to try to find somewhere to put all of these. <laughs> and remember how I was saying how burnt out I was? Part of that is because I just keep getting so many new and interesting puzzles and like there's not enough hours in the day to solve all of them and share all of them with all of you. So this was just a preview of what you have to expect uh, next year. <laughs>
look at how beautiful this looks. All of these modern crypt puzzles, all of the old crypt puzzles, and then all of the rare transit collection. I wonder if anyone else in the world has the same collection of puzzles. Now here's where I'm running into an issue. This is where I've been keeping all of my giant puzzles. Uh, I don't know if these are gonna fit on this shelf with all of these other giant puzzles. Um, I don't think I'm gonna solve that in this video. I think I need to do some measuring and some math. I guess for now they can just live here in this little nook next to the puzzle shelves, but I don't think that looks very nice. So I have to come up with another solution. So that's my puzzle haul. I hope you liked it. Um, if you follow me on Patreon, I've already been doing like mini hauls, so you would have already seen some of these over there, but uh, some of them are definitely new. Uh, let me know in the comments what that I showed are you most interested in? What do you most want to see me solve? Your code word for the comments will be... Um, I really did not pick a code word. Um, I guess it'll be 13,200. <laughs> because I know that all of you are gonna wanna see me do that puzzle. So thank you for sticking with me on this more casual type of video. Um, I'm gonna go try to relax and try to stop working and try to go on vacation. All right, bye everyone, happy puzzling. Mm -hmm.